antennas that work. Now there's a million different antennas but uh, some work better than others. I believe a 100 watt transmitter operating in the eastern part of the United States with a decent antenna should be at least an S5 to S9 somewhere. If you're running an S1 everywhere you're not getting out. Let me repeat that. If you're running an S1 everywhere you're not getting out. Now while I can technically set up your transmitter for optimal performance, if you're operating a dummy load for an antenna, you will not be getting out well. And radio antenna tuners do not solve the problem. They only mask the problem so the radio will operate correctly. A bad antenna is still a bad antenna. So now you're on the air with a bad antenna. The real name of the game is antenna efficiency. So if you're running an S1 everywhere, you're not getting out. I propose a change in your life. It is the antenna that we've been using over the past few years here on uh, 7188 on Friday afternoons on the uh, QSO VLOG uh, uh, network. It is a uh, center-fed, half-wave, resonant-tuned, no SWR, specifically oriented dipole antenna. Yes, it is a dipole antenna, but a resonant-tuned dipole antenna. Look, Ma, no antenna tuner. Because your antenna is tuned, you have no SWR to deal with. You're straight out of your radio to the antenna. No conversion loss antenna tuner to deal with. You are max power to the antenna. The second part about this great antenna is that it is directional. The radiation pattern is broadside to the elements. So now you can choose your target area by the way you orient your dipole. That's what we mean by the formula ERP over ADI. Case in point, if you happen to have uh, or live along the East Coast, you would probably want to orient your dipole east and west, so it would radiate north and south. Otherwise, if you oriented your dipole north and south, you would be losing half your signal to the sharks at sea. On the other hand, if you enjoy working Europe, the north and south operation would work out well. It all depends on where you want your signal to go. The thing I'm pointing out is the center-fed, half-wave, resonant-tuned, no SWR, specifically oriented antenna works well on many levels. I've A-B tested it at 600 miles with other popular antennas, and it's always been the hottest antenna. And that's why we've been running ours for many years here on the Accusa VLOG net on Friday afternoons. If you want to get out, get your antenna working as well as your radio. If you're only, uh, remember, you're only as strong as your weakest link. So if you're currently going through an antenna tuner, you're losing power in the mismatch correction, but you're losing most of your power in a poor, untuned antenna. Get yourself on the air with a center-fed, half-wave, resonant-tuned, no SWR, specifically oriented dipole antenna. It would be one of the greatest gifts you could give yourself. Uh, the way I tune them is simple. I make SWR adjustments at the end of the ground side only, and I bring it back onto my desired mid-band frequency by adjusting the end of the high side only. And if you keep going back and forth like that until your SWR is 0.05 or so at the correct mid-band frequency. I hope this segment on center-fed, half-wave, resonant-tuned, no SWR, specifically oriented dipole antennas will at least stir up some interest in building new antennas with greater efficiency. This is the Friday afternoon QSO VLOGNet. My name is Jim, and uh, if you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout.